What's up, everybody? It's the Bipolar Prophet, and welcome back to Old Ridge Farm in Farming Simulator 15. So I have an interesting story. I was down in the pub uh, the other night. <clears throat> you know, I go down there once in a while when I'm too lazy to cook. Uh, you know, for myself, I had, a, I had a decent meal and a couple of drinks. And uh, one of my neighbors, um, a, a guy we call Reefy, uh, he, was, uh, he was pretty far into his cups, I guess, you know. And he, uh, he was getting a little mouthy about local politics. It's an election year here in Britain, as... as you British people may know, being an American transplant, don't really get into the British politics too much. Uh, and Mike was kind of, you know, mouthing off about the council and about some of the problems he's had. Um, you know, not mouthing off so much, but, you know, stating his opinion uh, as his is his right, of course, uh, about the, you know, the, the, the council and, and some of the things that uh, that he thinks are wrong with the local uh, political scene. Um, and I guess sort of the, the outcome of that was uh, the, the, the county councillor's wife, uh, a something or other Crawford Brown, was in the pub, heard what uh, Mike was saying, uh, Reefy, uh, and then uh, decided that she didn't like it, went back to her husband, who is the parish councillor here for Old Ridge. Uh, and uh, they got digging into some records and some, some uh, public use land agreements. Uh, you may or may not know, if I bring up the map here, uh, you can see that a lot of the grassland, if I get my, I can't get my mouse cursor to go right now, but uh, some of the grassland around this, uh, actually, you know what, if we do it this way, I'll be able to actually show you what I'm talking about. Um, go shift I, and we'll go to the, we'll go to the big map here. Uh, we will we'll go to this map. Uh, some of this grassland, uh, namely uh, all of this over here, uh, the BGA meadow, uh, this meadow here, um, and some of the other little meadows along the sides uh, of our sort of area here, are belong uh, are belong uh, to belong to the parish. Uh, apparently, um, now the, the agreements have been in place for years and years and years and years. Now, when I came to this area uh, and took over this farm. Um, to be honest, I didn't do a lot of research. Uh, I assumed that there was some public land use agreements, uh, you know, in force that allowed uh, me and the neighboring farms to use these meadows, uh, you know, in accordance with some regulations, uh, you know. Well, apparently uh, all those uh, agreements have either been revoked or were never uh, officially in place to begin with. And we have lost all rights now to use these meadows. Uh, we do still own our own meadows, which are down here by the cow farm. I own that meadow. Uh, they can't really do anything about that. Um, so that all of a sudden now presents me with a problem. Uh, I don't have very much grass to cut anymore. Uh, if we can't use these meadows, and, and I'm sure, you know, uh, th this Crawford Brown guy was really mousy, very sort of, you know, bumbly and apologetic, and, oh, I'm very sorry, and, you know, it's, it's terrible inconvenience, and, you know, and, and I'm doing a horrible British accent, but... <clears throat> that was the gist of the conversation. He did a lot of apologizing. Obviously, it's election year, you know what I mean? From what I understand from Paris politics, uh, there's never enough people to sit on the council anyway, so he doesn't really have to worry about his job, but he still, he seemed like maybe his wife was hounding him a little bit. Okay, you know, uh, doing your job, I guess, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and I can't really hold it against Reefy, you know. Uh, he's entitled to speak his opinion, you know what I mean? He, he had an opinion, he spoke it. Uh, if somebody doesn't like it, you know, that's on them. Uh, and we'll just have to deal now with the, with the consequences. We do still have our, our, uh, our meadow by the cow, uh, by the dairy farm. Um, and I suppose I could always plant one of the fields, eight or nine, in grass now. Um, you know, to make up for the loss of the public use land. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of environmental stuff and things like that. You know, okay, well, as I said, as a transplanted American, not really getting involved in the politics of this area. I'll just do as I'm told and, you know, make the best of it that I can. So that's kind of what's going on there. Uh, now, uh, a couple things we need to do. One is we need to go muck out the pigs and the, um, the beef because I haven't done that yet. Uh, so I don't want to get anybody, you know, I don't want to get the Humane Society on me about that. Uh, so we're going to do that. So I think the first thing we should probably do is uh, scroll around here and get to this uh, little monster here. Uh, now, uh, how do I want to do this? I think we're going to have to pick up an adapter for our um, for this. I'm not sure where that's going to be, actually. What is that going to be under? Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, is it under MISC? An adapter for this so we can use our front loader tools. No, it's not under that. Uh, is it under skid steers, perhaps? There it is. So, okay. So we'll buy that. It's only $325. doesn't cost very much. And then uh, we'll go pick that up, wherever that's spawned in. And uh, we will 
but then be able to use a bucket <clears throat> to uh, hook up our, uh, I mean, to uh, muck out the pigs with. So, just not sure where this uh, skid steer attachment showed up. Am I just missing it somewhere? No. I did buy it. Where did it go? Um, didn't, did I not hit buy on that thing? Could have sworn I did. <laughs> uh, is it going to, yeah, I did. Where the hell is it? Oh, well, you know what? We'll reset it back to the farm, I guess. Hopefully it'll show up. Uh, nope. I keep forgetting. I got to hit shift I now, uh, because of the, uh, it says it's right there. Why can't I see it? It's very strange. Okay. Well, if we're going to do that, we might as well reset the skid steer too, I guess. So we'll reset that. Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I don't know where it uh where it actually decided to show up. Well, there it is now. Anyway, so okay. Now, which way does this actually connect? I think it connects uh, this way, perhaps. Oops. Could be helpful if I turn the brake off. Uh, and then we'll go grab a bucket and uh, get a trailer down there and uh, start mucking out the pigs. Now, what am I? Am I not? Uh, I'm not on this quite the right way, I guess. No. I will say that that whole sort of meeting uh, with the with the parish council kind of threw me off a little bit. I certainly wasn't expecting it. I certainly wasn't, uh, you know, I, I was under the assumption that, you know, when I took over this farm that all the sort of paperwork and everything, I must be doing this backwards, uh, was... Um, you know, all sort of in order and everything. At least that's the way that the uh, the the lawyers and everything that I talked to, uh, you know, on the phone and through email and everything else when I came over here, uh, that's the way they explained it to me. So I got to say, turning this thing with a steering wheel is not the easiest thing in the world to do. This is one case of things are actually easier to drive with, uh, with a keyboard. Okay. Well, there, we got that figured out anyway. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Uh, we got to bring this down to the pig and beef. I believe... I don't know where the sh where that bucket is. I should have just... You know what? I'll just reset that, too, I guess. Oh, boy, this is the reset episode, apparently. Yeah, good luck finding it, though. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Up oh, there it is. Uh, we will reset that as well, so I can just grab that and be done with it. Because I honestly didn't remember where it was. So, <laughs> Again, I'm an awesome farmer, huh? I don't even remember where my stuff is. My guess is probably down the dairy farm. Because uh, that's probably the last place I used it. So. I was going to get a, a muck fork, but then I realized, you know what? I have the bucket. Um, why spend more money than we have to? So, Nope, this way. Oh, my poor steering wheel. If you guys watched the stream uh, on Saturday, you know that I'm having a little issue with my steering wheel. It's not uh, acting particularly... Uh, that's a little floppy, huh? Oh, well. That's a big bucket for this thing, too, but it'll work. Uh, yeah, my steering wheel is not acting particularly uh, right, so. And this skid steer is very twitchy. So, I mean, there's a reason why you don't drive a skid steer with a, with a steering wheel, you know. That's why you have joysticks, so. But, um, yeah, we'll take this down to the pig and beef farm. We'll muck them out. Um, and then uh, I do need to get started on this groundwork, obviously. But, um, you know, now I have to kind of think about what I'm going to do about uh, the lack of grass, you know. All of a sudden now, I don't have as much grass uh, available to me as I thought I did. Um, you know, I was actually kind of concerned uh, during the conversation that there was going to be some kind of fine uh, involved, that we were going to, you know, pick up a fine for using, you know, public land without authorization and all that. But, but again, you know, being a being a mousy little guy that he was, he was just like, oh no, it's you know, it's very, it's very okay. Just don't do it any don't it anymore, and you know, and all that. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, there's really not a whole lot I can do about that. So, uh, you know. Um, so probably what we'll do is we'll probably plant uh, either fields eight, eight or nine, uh, one of those two with um, in grass. So uh, this meadow here, uh, we no longer have access to. Uh, not this one, the one on the other side, I should say. Uh, we don't have access to that one. The one over here by the by the cow farm, we certainly still do have access to. So uh, you know, because that that actually belongs to us. It's on uh, it's on our land. So. He was he was pretty uh, pretty adamant that we understood that you know we, they weren't taking anything away from us that did that belonged to us originally. So <clears throat> you know again you know in America we have the same thing you know we have uh, we have you know public use uh, statutes and stuff but generally 
uh, you tend to, uh, at least from the farm that I came from before I came over here, uh, you know, I owned all the land that I worked. So I didn't worry about, you know, if I cut the side of the road, it was, you know, for weed control and stuff like that. Uh, and, the, you know, the town didn't certainly didn't complain about it. So, um, you know, over here it's a little different with, you know, land being, you know, being owned for generations and generations and then getting turned into, you know, turned into, you know, county or parish or, you know, country land or whatever. Um, you know, and there's all that to think about. And so, you know, and, and to be honest, I kind of figured that the lawyers and the, and the, the, uh, the brokers would, would have figured that all out before I got here. Uh, apparently it was overlooked. So now we will just deal with the consequences, I guess. Uh, not a big deal. We will find some, uh, I will, I will, you know, make some grass somewhere. <laughs> so. You know, it's funny. I, I think they had time. You know, they could have probably told me uh, about this when I uh, when we applied for the permits uh, over here to cut down the trees and plant the, the because this is technically public use land over here as well. Uh, we filed all the correct permits. We uh, we did all the, the environmental stuff we had to do. Uh, I know that when the uh, owner of the of the grocery store there wanted to build it, he had to do the same thing. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, and there and, and he was he's actually paying me rent to use that land, uh, which technically I don't own. Uh, there wasn't anything said about that. So, oh, well, <laughs> you know, I guess, uh, I guess, you know, some things are okay. Other things are not. So, oh, I should have put this on a trailer because this is a long drive and this thing is very slow. Uh, generally, you wouldn't drive a skid steer down the road. Now, obviously, you know, maybe the council kind of has a, a, a kind of, you know, keeping an eye on, on us, on, uh, you know, me and, 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 and the neighboring farms here. So, probably shouldn't do anything that annoys them too much, but I just didn't have enough money to buy a trailer, uh, you know, a flatbed to put this on. So uh, for right now, we're going to do it this way. What I'd like to try to do is, I think instead of putting this in a trailer, <clears throat> I'd like to try to see if I can get it in a manure pit. I'd read somewhere in the FSUK uh, support forum for this map that the, the manure pit didn't work. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if I read it wrong or whatever, but we're going to try that first, um, and then we will... Uh, if we have to, we'll bring a trailer down here, and then I'll just, I don't know, do something with it, I guess. Um, let's, you know what, we can just start right here, actually. We'll start right here in this, in this uh, particular uh, beef shed, so. Now, here's the trick. I'd like to do this in the cab, but I think for the first couple of shovelfuls, uh, just learning where to put the shovel and whatnot are gonna, is going to be a problem because obviously I can't lower this thing anymore. Oh, I can. Okay. I thought I was low as low as it went, but apparently not. So. Oop, and we're full. Okay. Now let's go see if we can. Uh, well, the shovel does. I will say this adapter is handy, but uh, the shovel doesn't seem to be a big fan of it. Let's go see if we can put this in the manure pit over here. Uh, if we can, awesome. If we can't, then we will uh, get a trailer down here and we'll do something with it. Oh. I guess if I'm gonna if I'm gonna take it to the manure pit, it would make sense to go in the other side because uh, that would be closer to the manure pit than driving all the way around like this. I still gotta get water down here for these guys. Um, I didn't forget, believe it or not. Uh, I probably did forget until I actually loaded up the map, and then I was like, oh, yeah, I need water, so. <laughs> you know, one thing about using a steering wheel with a skid steer is a skid steer is not supposed to steer particularly smooth. It's very jerky. It's, you know, it's, the, it's one way, it's the other way, you know what I mean? Uh, so driving it with steering wheel is a little against its own nature, so. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. Uh, hopefully it works. Um, we will certainly find out. Might as well start way back here, I guess. And uh, I'm not sure where the actual pit ends, but let's find out. Let's see if anything actually goes in here. Uh, nope. It doesn't seem to be going in here. Or at least I'm not getting a number on the uh, on the F1 menu here. So, hmm. I mean, obviously, I can dump it anywhere, but. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, let's do this. I'll do this. I'll cheat a little bit. Well, not cheat, but uh, I hope I have it in here. Uh, I may not actually have... Nope, I don't have the placeable piles in here. Darn it. Okay, we're going to have to get a trailer down here then. Uh, might as well go ahead and shut that off. 
and we'll tap around. Well, I'm going to use this tractor, but I'm not going to use... Actually, I'm not going to use this tractor. I'll use this tractor. Uh, and... Hmm. I'm going to have to go get the Dezor uh, trailer, because that's kind of the trailer I've decided we're going to use for... Uh, for manure, so... Might as well leave this here for now. I will come back and get it for the beef uh, at some point. But. So, yeah, so that metal directly across from us, that still belongs to us. Uh, they can't really take that away from us, so that's good. Um, you know, again, it's an inconvenience, but okay. You know, certainly don't want to be violating any laws. Don't want to be, uh, you know, don't want to annoy the council uh, any more than, you know, than I probably already have. So we will just go ahead and deal with it. So. I was really hoping that manure pit worked. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't. Uh, I don't know what the issue is with it, um, but I'll have to get the placeable piles back in the mod folder so I can, you know, make a placeable pile uh, for the manure somewhere. Because uh, I might have... Well, this Dezor holds quite a bit, but I think I might have more than this Dezor will hold uh, once all the animals are mucked out, so I'm going to need to put it somewhere. So. I wonder if I could... I don't think I can dump it in the manure pit up at the dairy farm either. I don't think... I don't think manure pits actually accept manure. Unless they're scripted for that, so at least that's what I think. I, I I could be wrong, but I'm not gonna need this front loader either, so I'm gonna just drop this off. Why is that blinking red? What? What? never seen that blink red before. Is that because it's not all the way down? Oh. Oh, okay. I wonder if that's a new thing. Uh, I've not, I've seen it in other in modded front loaders uh, where you couldn't detach. I've never seen it in an in-game one before. That's neat. Uh, actually, that is kind of neat. Uh, so, got to remember, put it on the ground before you detach it. So we will grab the Dezor. Uh, that will be our manure trailer, I guess. Since we have a trailer for brain and we have a trailer for uh, mixed rations, which we don't really need anymore anyway, uh, I may actually end up selling that trailer. So this trailer may be a little big for this uh, for this tractor, but we'll work with it anyway. So today is the work with it episode, I guess. You know, uh, you know, let's let's deal with what's been been given us uh, today. So uh, in case you're wondering where I got that idea from, um, I didn't just pick uh, you know Mike or Reefy 1952s. Uh, name out of a hat. Uh, I watched one of his videos. I'm going to link uh, to the video in the description. Hopefully I remember um, he, to where I got that idea from. It, it was, uh, he had done a, a video, uh, just kind of an update video showing what's going on on the farm. And, and uh, the opening of the video was him selling his uh, Big M 500, his big mower there. Um, and that was the idea he came up with to sort of explain why he was selling it because he just didn't have enough grass anymore. <clears throat> and I liked the idea so much, and I said, well, you know what? We're playing on the same map. Uh, there's no reason why we can't be neighbors, you know, uh, in the game. Uh, and I could have sort of took that idea, and I sort of continued it on. I uh, hope he doesn't mind. Um, I just thought it was neat, and I, I think it's kind of a fun thing. And it kind of connects to two sort of, you know, Let's Play series together in a way. So so thank you very much, Reefy, once again, for a great idea uh, that I just, you know, didn't steal this time, just sort of jumped on board with, I guess. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I think in the interest of keeping these, keeping this episode not super long, uh, the last couple have been really long, um, you know, and I've been, I, I try, and I appreciate all you guys who say, you know, hey, listen, you know, we don't mind a 45-minute, an hour-long episode. I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, but I also understand how hard it is to sit down and watch a whole video uh, at once like that, you know, when you've got a bunch of other stuff you, you, you either need or want to be able to do. Uh, so I think in this episode we'll probably muck out the pigs and the beef. Um, <clears throat> And then uh, call that an episode. In the next episode, we'll get started on the groundwork because uh, we're going to need to get stuff in the ground. Uh, we'll get one of those fields, eight or nine, planted in grass. Uh, so we have grass. I have plenty of silage at the moment. I'm not, I'm not short on silage uh, by any means. So uh, that's not going to be so much of an issue just right off the bat. I also want to get those bales, uh, silage bales, off out of the fields at some point. 
because uh, technically uh, the field that I cut those salvage bales in do, does not belong to me. So <clears throat> uh, I am not over here. I am at the bee farm. Really? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I've been talking a lot today. I've, been, I've recorded quite a few, quite a few things today. Really? The front of this tractor just—if you got any weight on the back—it just gets light, and it, man, it—it'll just drag along uh, without turning. So, um, yeah, I've recorded quite a bit today, so my voice is a little hoarse. Plus, you know, I talked for basically seven straight hours yesterday. Uh, yesterday being Saturday for me, you guys will see this on Tuesday. Um, so it's been a—it's been a pretty busy, pretty busy weekend, you know. Uh, but I—but I've enjoyed every minute of it. So. Oh, this yeah, this thing's got such a great lock when there's nothing on it. When there's anything on the back, it just will not turn. No. Nope. Come on. Just turn. Come on. You got it. You got it. There you go. And it's a pretty long trailer, too, for this tractor, so. So, yeah, technically all these bales in this field over here uh, were taken uh, without sort of permission, I guess. Uh, you know, the, the, the parishman did say that we could have the bales, uh, that we could keep them. So, you know, okay, well, that's good. You know, that's, that's a plus. So, um, so I will get them out of the field. And then that field, that field over there will also sort of be off limits to us, unfortunately. So, oh, well, you know, I guess, uh, again, we'll deal, we'll deal with it when we need to. So. I just want to make sure that nobody has come along and moved the bales. Nope, they're all still there. So, okay, very good. Yeah, it's too bad about this. I, I, too bad that doesn't work, but oh well. Okay. Oh, already, already in reverse, so. Shouldn't take too long to muck these out, uh, muck these four barns out. So it's already been 22 minutes, you know. And uh, unfortunately, driving down here with this thing and then having to bring a trailer down, you know, that took that took a little bit of time too. But okay, am I low enough to actually? No, not quite. There we go. Now I am. Kind of left this at an awkward angle, but luckily with a skid steer, you got plenty of maneuverability, so that shouldn't be an issue. Now, my biggest fear is that this thing will boom up high enough to actually get over the top of that uh, top of that lip. It should. This thing's got a pretty good reach on it, so let's find out. Oop, just, just, yep, very good. Oh, that's not that's not perfect, is it? Oh, that's not going to work. Crap. The trailer's too big. Uh, am I really going to have to use this ramp over here and back and go over there every single time? This is when I kind of need a... Is that really as tall as that'll go? Yeah, it is. And, of course, this not being a... This is not a telehandler, so it doesn't have the uh, extended... The extension capabilities. Any chance I could sneak this in here? Come on. Nope. Or is it that this trailer does not take manure? That could be a thing, too. Uh, I've been having all kinds of trouble with trailers lately about taking various things. Let's make sure this trailer actually takes manure, I guess. Wow. I'm having a, I'm having a rough day today. Uh, let's see. Is it that this trailer just does not take manure? It's one of the first ones I bought. Uh, nope. It definitely does take manure. Okay. So it's just that I can't get it back far enough. Well, looks like we're going to have to use this ramp. I suppose that's why it's there, I guess. Uh, I was hoping I could get away without using it, but that's not going to be a thing, so. Probably should have guessed that right off the bat, that I wasn't going to be able to, you know, that that wasn't going to happen, but can always try, uh, you know. Unfortunately, all the trailers I have, with the exception of the Brantners, are pretty high-sided, so. Now, the trick is to get this backed up into the spot over here. Now turn and don't hit the fence. Don't hit the fence. Now I'm 
gonna have to back the trailer into this because otherwise I won't be able to get out. So. And I need to try to get as tight onto this fence as possible. If this thing didn't have turning axles, again with the turning axles. Ah, uh, turning axles just kill me. Well, you can hit that tree. Almost. Almost hit the tree. Whoops. I'm going to try to get this in there straight. Otherwise, the, the skid steer is not going to have the reach uh, to get into that. So, even with the ramp... Um, Closest I can get to the wall, a happier I'll be, I think. That's a tree. This poor trailer. This trailer's been through been through some uh through some calamities in its life, so. Okay, let's try this again. Wow, twenty six minutes I haven't even put I haven't even put a scoop of manure in anything. Well I did put a scoop in the uh in the manure pit and it didn't work, so <laughs> Jeez, even with this ramp, that trailer is awfully tall. Hopefully this will be, uh... Hopefully this will be, uh... High enough to be able to dump into. I may not be close enough now. That may be the problem now. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. Uh, it's not pretty, but it does work, so... Whoa, whoa, get it in there, get it in there. I don't know if any of that's actually going in. I know the first bit went in. Eh. So I dumped some on the uh, on the ground. Go figure, right? Oh. Going to have to be aware of that fact, I guess. Well, easy. Do not drive off the ramp. Yeah, it's too bad the manure pit doesn't work. Oh, well. Whining about it isn't going to fix it, so. There's a bunch of manure in here too. Oh, that I gotta say that adapter thing is not uh, is does not make this shovel very happy. Oh. Neither does my steering wheel. My steering wheel does not make this uh, skid steer very happy. <laughs> Now, I'd like to be cool and do this all in cab, but I just, the way this is all set up now, I don't know that I can actually do it. Uh, this would be one case where I think the telehandler would have been a better choice, um, but, especially since we're going to have to do quite a bit of mucking out, you know, but we will, uh, again, you know, deal with it, right? So, you kind of have to drive all the way up till you're on the, uh, on the wall there, and, and nothing really likes that, that's for sure, so. No, 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 stop. Stop, damn it. You know, if I could get any of it in the, uh, in the, <laughs> in the trailer, that would be awesome. Oh. Jeez, you know, you think the simplest jobs, right? Mucking out, you know, mucking out. How hard can this be? Um, but you know, it's all, it's it's the little stuff that makes you go, oh yeah, you know that's why it, that's why it's so hard. You know? There's a fair amount of muck in here too. So, uh, actually, will it tell us um, how much is in here? Let's find out. Gotta go to this animals. Uh, we're in the pigs there. Uh, there's fourteen thousand liters of manure. Uh, there's eight. 8,969 liters in this one, and nothing... Ah, uh, that's lambs. Whoops. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of manure. So, okay, well, I think that's a combination of all the sheds, uh, that number, I hope, anyway. No, because we'll be here for quite a while, if that's the case. 
And if all this wasn't quite so wonky, I'd probably get Courseplay to do it. But it's a little wonky for me. I may end up having to buy a shovel. I don't know that I... This adapter is neat. Uh, and it does work. But I just don't know if I like the way that bounces around like that. So... like to get some of them who are in the you know in the trailer as opposed to all over the ground so could get this trailer closer I suppose but I'm not really sure how uh, I would do it without you know making a massive mess of it anyway so I guess I'll just keep my foot on the gas a little bit keep it pressed against the uh, the wall so it doesn't back up and then want to dump all over the ground I guess that's the way I will have to do it Do believe that most of it is going in the uh, going in the trailer, so that's a good thing. stuck on the side of the rail there. Jeez, if I were to do all of this, this could be an hour, an hour plus episode just of this. Um, you know, because of the sort of the, the, you know, the getting it down here, the, the getting the adapter, getting the shovel, getting a trailer down here, getting the, getting it set up behind a ramp, you know, all that takes time. So, uh, I probably won't do all of this on screen. I wouldn't think, uh, just because it'll take too long. Um, so I might just muck out this shed, I guess, uh, and we'll call this an episode, you know. Uh, I know, again, you know, not not an action-packed episode, but, again, more stuff that needed to be done, I guess. Uh, so, you know, and uh, then at least we can't sort of came to a, a what's going to happen about our grass now. Um, you know, we'll have to uh, plant another field, uh, plant one of our fields. I guess it's a good thing, you know. I was complaining that those fields are kind of small for arable anyway. So, you know, I didn't... When I said... You know, it's funny because I even said it in an episode. Well, I don't need any more grass. Well, now I do. So I guess everything works out in the end. We're going to need this manure for the fields anyway. Um, I'll have to get the placeable piles back in the... Uh, back in the uh, mod folder so that... Uh, I can just put a placeable pile of this stuff somewhere because I believe I'm going to have way too much of it for a trailer anyway, so just by the looks of it, you know, by the looks of the way things are going, so. So easy, jeez. Having spent a long time in skid steers uh, over my life, <clears throat> I can tell you that no matter how many times that happens, if you lift up the front end or you lift up the back end, you know, for whatever reason, you never really get used to it. You always sort of get a shot in your stomach, like, oop, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> so you try not to do it, especially with a brand new skid steer, you know. I'm trying not to ruin it. I mean, it did cost $49,000, you know. I don't want to turn it into a pile of junk on the first, you know, the first day I actually use it, so. Of course, I can only dump so fast because if I dump too fast, the bucket will get, move out from, from the trail and end up dumping all over the ground. So, and I don't want to waste it. I mean, we we are definitely going to use it. So, you know, we have all the manure at the uh, at the dairy farm too. So that's good. You know, uh, 
So we have plenty of manure. Uh, we should be able to spread all our fields. I, well, I say that, but I don't know. You know, it takes so much manure uh, to spread fields, but I'd really like to spread them all, you know, uh, sort of some basically free nutrients, I guess. Um, you know, we'll obviously have to monitor all that, keep an eye on it all, you know, how, you know, how all the, all the soil's doing, so. Uh, sorry about the snuffiness too as usual you know uh, after you know after a long day yesterday and a fairly early morning this morning because uh, I went to bed fairly early last night and uh, so you know I woke up this morning and I was raring to go and you know now it's you know it's you know, sort of early afternoon-ish still, and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, we're definitely going to fill this trailer up, that's for sure. The question is, where am I going to put it? So, obviously, that's going to be an issue. Uh, not having the placeable piles in the mod folder, uh, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it uh, right now anyway. Uh, but I will put them in, uh, and then it, we'll put a placeable pile uh, somewhere of this stuff. Uh, maybe down the dairy farm, I guess. I guess that might be, the, might be the best place, just to keep it all sort of, you know, centralized in one location. So when we do start spreading, uh, we're not having to chase all over the place for it. I guess that would probably make the most sense. I could always get a manure storage uh, placeable, I suppose. Um, and, and put it in that. I guess that probably make more sense and just have a big pile of it somewhere. Uh, but I don't know what, really what the difference is. A big pile of manure or a big pile of manure with walls around it. You know, I don't know I don't know how the council's going to going to want it, you know, how they're going to feel about that either way. So uh, what's going on? Here? Why can't I Is that all of it right there? That could be all of it right there, I guess. Uh, let me just make sure we'll go up the other end and I'll grab whatever's up there. I mean, usually when you can see it, uh, that means there's still some left. So, just want to make sure I'm not missing any. Oh, guess not. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit there still. Just a tricky place to get into. That's good enough, I think, for now. There's hardly any left there, so I can live with that. No. There you go. Backing up without looking. Always a good idea, BP. You you, you, you have obviously not learned your lesson. So, uh, This poor JCB. I'm sure this JCB was probably, you know, not thinking that this was going to be its first job. But, you know what? This is kind of why I bought it. Uh, this is what, what, its, what its primary function is going to be, I think. So, you know, like everything else today, it's going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Gonna check and see how full this uh, trailer is too, afterwards, and then I think I'll call this an episode. And again, you know, yeah, okay, so it's an episode of me mucking out one shed. You know, uh, it took it took quite a bit longer than I th originally thought it was gonna, uh, and I just don't want to make these episodes super super long anymore. So, because uh, I appreciate you guys watching them, and I want to make it as easy for you guys to watch them as possible. So, all right, so let's go ahead and back off this ramp. Um, I mean, thank God this ramp's here. Otherwise, I'd really be in trouble. You know, otherwise I would. I would have to go, you know, hopefully rent or, you know, some otherwise uh, acquire a telehandler. So uh, turn on the parking brake. We'll go over here, jump in the tractor, see how full we are. 60%, uh, 10,590. So, we're, yeah, okay. So so we'll go muck out this other pen. Uh, but you know what? We'll do this. I'll, in the next episode, just to kind of keep this all sort of going, I guess, uh, in the next episode I'll muck out the other pen, uh, and then we'll start on the groundwork. 
uh, and that will be that. And then we can start working on towards our next uh, harvest and uh, dealing with soil mod, which I'm really looking forward to, and it should be a lot of fun. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for subscribing and liking the videos and commenting. Uh, it means a ton to me. Uh, I'm going to say it every video because it really does mean a lot to me. And thank you for making me a part of your YouTube day. And this is the Bipolar Prophet saying, see you later.